Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Uh, today's topic is what is a crummy letter and also uh, going to drop some good news for 2022. So before we can dive into the, today's topic, as always, if you'd like to set up a time to discuss any estate planning or probate issues, any questions, comments, concerns you may have, contact me at njestateattorney.com or send me an email at david at campanillelaw.com. Uh, remember, this is for a free consultation. Um, so let's dive into today's uh, topic. What is a crummy letter? So crummy letters are used um, and they're very important actually during trust administration. Um, so let's go into it. What is a crummy letter? Uh, this is a letter that is sent out to the beneficiaries of an irrevocable trust, informing them uh, of uh, the uh, uh, that a gift has been made to the trust, um, and they have the immediate and unrestricted right to withdraw those assets. So what does that mean? Basically, this is a letter that the trustee sends to the bene every beneficiary of the trust saying, hey, money's here, you have unrestricted access to it. Usually this is sent out around the end of the year um, because people are trying to go through the gift tax exemption. Um, and if it's a gift, uh, if it's deemed a gift, then it falls under this exemption up until a certain amount of money. We're gonna jump into that in a second, but these are also very necessary to, in order, a crummy letter is necessary because it allows the gift, it allows everything to be classified as a gift and as a completed gift for your tax purposes. Um, and unless the gift is considered completed, um, it will not qualify for your annual tax gift exclusion. Um, and just to let you know, for 2022, the gift tax has gone up again to $16,000. So you have a gift tax exclusion of $16,000 this year. Um, and just to, you know, want to jump in a little bit deeper into what the crummy letters do is <clears throat> this really is a right for you to withdraw from the trust up to the amount of your gift tax exclusion. Um, the gift tax, like I said, is at $16,000 now. Um, the notice um, should be given by the trustee to the beneficiaries. Um, but if it is a if there is a minor beneficiary, um, somebody under the age of eighteen, the crummy letter or crummy uh, notice needs to be given to that beneficiary's legal guardian. Um, so, and a lot of trusts have crummy powers built into them. Um, so, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry, just losing my train of thought here. So that's really what a crummy letter is. It's to notify the beneficiaries that there's a gift and they can take uninhibited up to the gift tax exclusion. Um, and this is usually done at the end of the year. Um, you need a crummy letter or a crummy notice for your tax purposes to show that this has been a completed gift so you can use that on your exclusion on your tax returns. I hope you found this video helpful um, and informative. If you did, please like, please hit the like button. Please share this video out to those people that may be beneficiaries of trust, may have questions pertaining to estate planning or probate needs. Um, tell them you were thinking about them. As always, if you'd like to schedule a, a consultation, a free consultation with me to discuss this topic in estate planning or any other topics in estate planning or probate, please contact me at njestateattorney.com or send me an email directly at david at campaneallaw.com. As always, I'm David Campanile, owner of Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey.